Hi, my name is Rob Parhamis. I've lived in Upland for 27 years, and I'd like to share an idea with you. How about if we bring some great foods like this to Upland? Foods like this. And this. And this. Not over there, but right here in Upland. Right now with these hot gourmet food trucks. Have you heard the news? The NRA says hot trucks are the hottest thing for 2011. Food trucks aren't new. Remember when we used to think if we build it, they will come? Today, customers want it brought to them. The rules are being changed now after being banned for 30 years. But that was then, and this is now. And the door is opening. We've got 2 million people waiting 30 years for some of the very best foods. Upland can take the lead and be first in the market. We can think outside the box. We can create the new codes to be business friendly. Why can't Upland become a magnet? This and them for future generations. What rules am I talking about? Trucks can't just roam around. Maybe our church parking lots. Can they go to our parks? Can they go to our retailers that want some help? And maybe our schools. Let's not open the door for the bandits from the West who will take our money and run home with it. Let's have Upland based trucks. I think we need the jobs here too. Can we make the trucks? Like these? Do we need some construction jobs? To build commissaries like these? And drive the trucks and work at the commissaries? Let's be smart about this. Let's show some leadership. Let's work hard and be creative. Trucks are like any other business. They need a time and a place to sell their food. They can't be driving around all day. We should set the toughest standards anywhere but achievable. Let's make them the cleanest, safest, modern kitchens and wheels available anyplace. Let's plan when and where they can be. We should make sure our food is safe and sanitary. Let's avoid conflicts, but not have codes to stop innovation. With GPS, we can know where everybody is all the time. And there's no free parking. Does Upland already have too much money? Trucks should only go where they're wanted. I'll bet our schools would like to do a few fundraisers. I think our churches might enjoy some get-togethers. Wouldn't it be great to walk to great food at reasonable prices? How about some fresh meals at our youth sport events? This is no I win, you lose, zero-sum game. Nobody's being excluded. Applebee's is invited. Maybe we can see these people at more than just occasional events. You mean Jack in the Box doesn't want to build a brick-and-mortar place downtown? And then there's those unique startups like Koji that are innovative. 